And I'm joined by Rise News African business reporter Adora Amba. Uh, Hi. Adora. Hello. <laughs> market experts saying that e-commerce is going to be the next big driver of Nigeria's economy. How'd that oh. come about? I know. I mean, it's it's quite surprising. It's growing at a rapid rate at the moment, but um, and it's, it, it contributes to about eight point four percent of the GDP already. But there's many factors. I mean, um, you know, the growing middle class has contributed a lot, um, and there's a lot more demand for luxury um, items, but. Actually, what was most prominent during the Ebola crisis, a lot of people, in fear of contracting the disease, started buying their groceries and everything online, which is when everything in the market started surging up. So that was one of the main factors that caused um, the sudden growth in the e-commerce market. So we take it for granted here in the UK and all over the place where you can just go put online. in your order, you yes. know it's going to be there, you can go <laughs> and pick it up at little cubicles, you can go and pick it up at stores. What are the infrastructure challenges like in Nigeria for an okay. organisation like Amazon? Yes. Well, you can imagine. I mean, the Nigeria is one of the most heavily populated countries, in the, you know, in the world, and and you know, so many. But at the moment, uh, the main factor is cybercrime. Like, there haven't been um, any laws placed yet, and uh, fraud happens. I think about eight point eight percent of all the transactions that happen currently online is due to fraud. Um, so people aren't trusting and feeling safe. But despite that, even the distances, you know, having um, they are privately owned companies like DHL that can deliver, but they they can't keep up with the demands or the amount of people. So some some orders currently happening are sent via donkey or by foot to the remote parts of Nigeria. No, seriously. So they're trying, the infrastructure is still, you know, trying to, um, they're trying to sort that out. And and, and I know that um, certain companies are using, um, I mean, Amazon are coming in to use themselves, but Jumaya have, you know, I think about 5,000 mopeds that they use, but it's still very, very difficult at the moment. Does the challenges of sort of e-commerce, things are done online, you can sort of transact, but you can also trace things more easily. Is that going to help with uh, transparency and corruption issues in the country? I mean, we hope so. I mean, at the moment, as I said, because there's no laws, it's very difficult to pinpoint people. And the technological side of Nigeria is still in the rudimentary stages. So tracking is still not as strong as, as you know, as the way it is here, for example. But I do think in the future, exactly you're right, because everything lives in imprint online, it will be easier, the transparency, it will get a lot clearer to track, you know, um, people taking advantage or fraudsters and cybercrime online, especially with online transactions. So things growing rapidly, but no sign of that changing. So mm-hmm. looking to the future, what do you think will happen? Well, I think it's, it's just going to explode. Yes, I mean, I really do. I think it's just going to get better. I mean, despite the challenges and and, um, and all that has to be overcome with infrastructure, the government of Nigeria us noticing that this could be a way of really supporting the economy of the country and are looking to get more involved and maybe have some more revenue to help support um, all these online businesses. And then despite that, in, even in Ghana, um, this, it's taking off as well. A lot of the online retail uh, companies, I think the biggest is Zoopla. Zoopla is doing so well, having over a thousand orders at, like a month. Um, and um, apparently, according to McKinsey, it said by the, um, 2025, e-commerce can make up to 10% of the whole continent's um, GDP. Looking bright, the future for a service-based economy, not just a a manufacturing economy in uh, Nigeria. Adora, thank you very much. Thank you.